Hi, this is uh, Peter Jenkins. Welcome to this astrophotography course. We're going to be looking at processing using uh, PixInsight and Photoshop. Um, I'm going to do that and demonstrate all of that by processing this image. This is the Heart Nebula, a photograph from my home. Um, and I think it uh, a good idea to show you the equipment that was used first. Um, this is my home observatory. As you can see, probably it's on casters. So the whole thing pushes back when it's open. And you can see that the scope is mounted on a, on a permanent pier. This is a, a close-up of the scope. It's an Officina Stellari uh, 115, a Hyper Apple, they call it. It's a triplet. Um, this scope was discontinued a number of years ago, I think, although I think it can be found sometimes second hand. They have a guide scope on top. The guide camera is a QHY. The camera used to capture the image was an Attic 383. The filter wheel is an Attic filter wheel with 36mm Astrodon filters. And the mount is a Skywatcher EQ8. Now what we're going to do is record around about 20 separate short videos of how to use PixInsight and Photoshop. And we'll start with an introduction to the interface and go through various parts. What I am going to do is save this slide as an index, so that as a PDF, so that you can open it and, and readily jump to any part. The chapter numbers will be um, as shown here. Okay, so that's my introduction. Uh, we're going to use this photograph, as I said. Um, the data files for this image will be included. Um, the only stipulation in the use of those is that if you do use them for anything at all, that you uh, specify that the data was supplied uh, by Peter Jenkins, FRAS. Uh, other than that, feel free. Okay, thanks very much. We'll get started with part one and you can get that in a moment. 